Welcome to Curie Electronics. So in the last video, we have seen the working of cathode ray tube. So today we will study about a digital storage oscilloscope or in short form it is known as DSO, digital storage oscilloscope. So what is the defini definition of DSO? A digital storage oscilloscope is an oscilloscope which stores and analyzes the input signal digitally. So in a circuit when you probe an analog signal, first it will convert the analog signal to digital signal, then it will do the process, then that analog signal it will store it, then process it and reconstruct the waveform and display it on the screen. It could be a C CRT or a TFT display or any type any type of display. So a digital storage oscilloscope is an oscilloscope which stores and analyzes the input signal digitally. And this DSO has got many features, advanced features like it can store the waveform. Uh, then uh, with various values it can display like average value, peak value, RMS value and it can do a lot of math processing. It can do many advanced things. So this is the block diagram of a DSO, Digital Storage Oscilloscope. So all of us know the oscilloscope will have a probe. The probe will supply the or probe will the the oscilloscope probe will provide the input signal to the alternator. This alternator what it does it will reduce the amplitude of the signal. So it is not going to increase the amplitude it, is, it will reduce the amplitude of the signal. That signal goes to the pre-amplifier. Pre-amplifier if, if you are measuring a weak signal this pre-amplifier amplifies the signal and after the amplification of this weak signal from the pre-amplifier then it goes to a trigger detector. A trigger with the DSO we can set the trigger level and whether it is a rising edge or falling edge all those things we can set in a DSO. So once the, det once the trigger circuit detects the trigger it will start the soup. Soup means the just like the CRO, the horizontal oscillator, horizontal time base, time base signal. So from the from the pre-amplifier, what happens? There we have a ADC. This now we are going to the vertical section. So ADC analog to digital converter. This what does this? This will convert the convert the analog waveform. Analog waveform, whatever we have sampled, let it be like this one waveform. Whatever we have measured, this is the waveform. This ADC converted into a di corresponding digital values. That means this ADC will be having what? It will be having high speed sampling. That sampling rate will be depending on the Nyquist rate. And to measure a signal properly, we should uh, sample at higher frequency. Then what happens, whatever this ADC output, that will be stored in a memory. Again, from the memory, it goes to a DAC. If you see, all these processor, ADC, memory, DAC, all are connected to the control logic. So this is a microprocessor. Uh, this will microprocessor FPGA controlled. So this will coordinate all these things. And memory, from the memory, whatever we have digitized, that will again go to a digital to analog converter and this will reproduce the waveform and gives to a analog waveform. That analog waveform will go to a vertical amplifier. From the vertical amplifier, if, if this is a CRT display, it can be TFT display also. A modern day all uh, scopes comes with a TFT display. Here we have shown CRT display. So it goes to the vertical amplifier goes to the vertical plate. And then the CRT, the last video what we have learned how the CRT works. 
same way this part is going to work again see from the control logic one more we have to generate the soup also soup also so that is coming from the this control logic triggers the soup generator that is time base the time base will give our sawtooth wave so the, but this is a digitally controlled sawtooth and again the digital values are converted to analog DAC digital to analog converter and that analog now it's a analog soup waveform that's a ramp that ramp signal is driving the horizontal amplifier and then horizontal amplifier drives the horizontal plate now in the previous video how we are what is the working principle we have seen in the same way this picture tube not picture tube the cathode ray tube reproduce the waveform so it is very simple the only thing you have to remember that in analog scope there is no storage and there is no digital conversion or analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion but here in a digital storage oscilloscope first you are converting the analog signal to digital and storing it then whatever the stored data again we are processing it and displaying it on the screen I hope uh, I think you know to write separately what are the parts of it it is saying just as the block diagram now again one more uh, one more point we should know that is the how do we construct the waveform 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 construction waveform construction so for this purpose for this we use something called interpolation 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 now if you simply if you try to represent the sample the data then what will happen we will have some points like this this is no it is the actual uh, sampled whatever the sample data actual what was we have sampled and kept this is the actual but there is a we can use the interpolation now how do how what happens if you the interpolation see now we are going to use linear interpolation then what happens this all points will get joined through a line so this is the linear interpolation linear interpolation interpolation linear interpolation similarly we have sinusoidal interpolation also the sinusoidal interpolation let's see take some points in sinusoidal interpolation what happens these points will just get interpolated like this like a sinusoidal waveform it will get we'll get a sinusoidal wave so this is known as the sinusoidal interpolation interpolation some more we will the next video we'll try to learn about the features and the props used for the uh, what are the props used for oscilloscope or dso so this is a waveform construction uh, this uh, this simple a basic diagram how the what is the working of a dso and the definition of dso a digital storage oscilloscope is an oscilloscope which stores and analyzes input signal now there is one disadvantage is there for this for disadvantage of dso what is the disadvantage disadvantage of a dso uh, see when after sampling it has to digitize the signal and store it while digitizing it won't take the input that is the only one drawback of this oscillos what this oscillo digital storage oscilloscope that means it has a by it has a blind spot blind spot means it doesn't take the input input at that point it has a blind spot during that is during digitization 
digitization it doesn't take input it doesn't read input i'll write it doesn't capture input 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 waveform or whatever it is input waveform so it has got a blind spot that is the only disadvantage of a dso it is costly also but it is providing many features many measurement and mathematical functions so it is if a little cost you also it is much useful and it is it use interpolation to reconstruct the waveform if you like the video please share with the friends and don't forget to hit the like button so in the next class we will learn about what we could what we can learn we will learn about the oscilloscope props